the first thing that you're going to want to do before you start to do any detailed painting with your watercolor is make sure that all of your layers are the correct wash color that you want. So I'm mixing up a bunch of different greens to kind of even out my layers. And I'm going to use these to give a little bit more dimension to the cactuses in the foreground. Remember, these are monochromatic, so the layers should all be basically one color. Although, since we don't have white, um, you can use some lighter colors to lighten it up or just use more water. Um, so first you can see me starting to define um, some of the shadow areas. And then I'll go back in a little bit later on and add some highlights in. When the objects are closer, they're going to be more vivid. They're going to have more detail. So right now I'm just pretending that the sun um, is on the left side. So I'm giving more shadow to the objects on the lower right. Now you'll notice that the pigment is a little bit darker and I'm using a technique called dry brush. So I am putting the tip of my paintbrush into the pigment color that I want, fully saturating it, and then gently brushing off any of the water. So what's left on my brush is really just a, a lot of dark pigment. This is a great way to um, do some detailed painting um, but make sure that you're removing that excess water on a paper towel first and you'll see that there's a lot of pigment left in your brush. All of your layers should be monochromatic using one color, but it's okay to put a little pop of color in the background. So you're going to see me put in just a slight little um, sunset just to give it a little color contrast. Now that my foreground has dried a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do even more detailed painting. So again, I'm taking uh, the full pigment and I'm trying to mix a really dark color. I'll wipe some of it off on a dry paper towel so that most of the moisture is out and then use the remaining paint in my brush to draw my details. 